Hi guys, Ryu here with Narrative for Blender and let's talk about Hardup's Align tool and how we can use it with Box Cutter. This video was suggested by Genesis, one of the viewers. Thanks man, that's, that's a great tip. And also he has another one on the shortcut to use with that tool, which is even, you know, even better. It is brilliant. Um, it made me laugh too, but I'll, I'll show you. Anyway, so we got a cube, right? and let's you know let's go to vert mode and let's uh, bevel these verts make like a sort of like a dice thing and you know in blender if you want to align to a face you go shift 7 and bob's your uncle and then you know orthographic and if you want to sort of move this um, view you could press 2 or you know or um or 8 on the keyboard or for example 6 and you know you can rotate this stuff right but it's a little bit you know it, it's just not intuitive you need to look for the keys just bloody annoying so we got the new tool alignment tool from hard ops and it's really powerful so shift 7 to line to the face right and now if you're gonna go in uh, solid mode to Q menu and then you go to uh, mesh tools and to mod scroll toggle and under here is align view now there is no shortcut in here but we could change it the normal uh, shortcut for quitting blender is Control q okay so when you go here and um, type uh, quit you're gonna see quit blender well i changed the shortcut but originally is um, Control q right so you can change it to something ridiculous you will never use and then what we can do is go to um, to this uh, tool here again, so mesh tool and uh, align view, right click and assign shortcut and then press Ctrl Q. Now, every time I go to this, uh, you know, Ctrl Q uh, command, I get this align tool. And now watch this. If I press shift, I mean, you have to, all this menu here so you can explore it on your own. However, uh, if I press shift, right, I can rotate my view like that and with control like this and now this is just genius because it's very intuitive and quick right the, the way you can you know align your stuff we could use it with um, conjunction with box cutter uh, the only thing i want to mention is that if you're in solid mode the way to access the tool if you don't have a shortcut is different than in edit mode so in, in solid mode you select the cube, you go to Q, and you go to Mesh Tools, um, and here, right? In Edit Mode, is actually under S, T3, Mesh Tools, here. So, but, you know, once you set the shortcut, it doesn't matter, because all you do is press uh, Ctrl Q and Bob Jankle. And, in fact, the cool thing about this tool, right, is that, let's say, let's go to uh, Solid Mode, and let's, you know, let's un uncheck this face, and let's click this face. Once you go into the tool, so Ctrl Q, it's actually acting as Shift uh, Shift 7 in, in Blender. So if you press Shift 7 in Blender, it aligns to the face, right? Now if you press Ctrl Q and you go to, um, you go to Align Tool, right? So Ctrl Q, Ctrl Q, boom. So it shifts to the face, right? And at the same time, goes to orthographic view, right? So again, Shift Q, boom, right? So you have to be careful now because when you scroll your mouse, you're not gonna be able to zoom. So what you need to do is zoom beforehand, right? Then click the face, right? Then Control Q, and then you can either Control scroll or Shift scroll, okay? Right? So let's say we want to align it to this um, this position right you can still by the way hold control and move your and pan but you can't actually zoom with your scroll wheel because that's what's gonna happen okay so let's align it again to our view and now watch this i can grab now box cutter right so let me pull my uh, my toolbar here press alt w to access box cutter and i can start using box cutter however you can see that the alignment is off because the cutter will align to the basic uh, rotation of the object right so it will not align properly with uh, with this edge to be able to do that all you need to do is press shift uh, shift v change the view and now you can cut either in edit or in solid mode right now the problem here is that if you cut in solid mode or edit mode doesn't matter and you simply you know want to stay in a view mode and you just click it's gonna go through the mesh but you could change the depth of the cut and um, that's just a small tip I'll give you uh, if you go to shape and change this value so laser cut depth to let's say something like 0 0.5 okay 
so that's 0 0.5 meters and now if you cut it every single cut that you perform is gonna actually go half a meter into the mesh it doesn't matter where you are it's gonna be always the same depth okay so it's extremely powerful you need some precise cuts on your mesh with this cut performed right you know it's really easy to now go back to the view because you go back to the view with shift q you again align yourself here and you see where the cutter is now you recall the cutter and now you can actually rotate the cutter right and you could do this easily by simply switching the rotation um, from individual origins through the cursor right now go to edit mode select everything shift d and r and you simply can rotate this thing around uh, the cursor so you get perfect cuts in the mesh and if you hold control it's actually gonna snap um, to your to increments right so you're gonna get literally perfect cuts in this mesh right it's a little bit too big but we could make it a bit smaller now scale it shift c and move it somewhere here and now when i copy this right and rotate it you see i can rotate it in here and then shift r and i got perfect cuts around this triangle okay so Again, extremely powerful tool, um, especially for hard surface when you have angular um, structures and, you know, you need some precise cutting. So this could be really powerful, okay? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, Genesis, thank you for the tip, mate. That was brilliant. And if you guys do need hard ops, box cutter, machine add-ons, I'm leaving affiliate links in the description of the video so go ahead and get them if you don't have them and you're gonna help the channel at the same time thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video